Okay then gang, so we've pretty much created our mini project now. And to do that, we used a combination of models, views, controllers, as well as routes and migration files. And typically for every data type that you store in your database, for every new table, whether it be for pizzas or books or orders or something else, typically you'd create a model, a controller, and a migration file for that type of data. And then also some views and some routes. Now, we only had one data type in our project, a pizza. And for that, we created a pizza model, a pizza controller, and we created a pizza migration file as well, as well as some views and some routes. But imagine we wanted another type of data and we wanted a separate table for that, for example, kebabs. Then we'd have to create a whole new model for the kebab, a whole new controller for it, and also a migration file and some routes and views as well. Now, for the pizzas, we created each one of these individually because I wanted to teach each part on its own. So we created a migration file first and we ran that to create the table. Then we created some routes and views for those routes. Then we created a controller which controlled those routes. And then finally, we created a model which allowed us to communicate with the database table in our controller to send data into views. Now, this is a lot to do for every new type of data that you've got in your project, but there is a command using Artisan that can help us speed this up a little bit, and I wanted to show you that. So when we create a new model for a new type of data, we can also ask it to generate for us a migration file and a controller as well. Now, we'd still have to manually create the routes and the views, but the migration, the controller, and the model will all be created in one go. Okay then, so imagine now that you wanted to create a new type of data that you wanna store in your database in a separate table. So the first thing you'd typically do is make a model file for that new type of data. So to do that, we'd open up our terminal and say PHP artisan, and we'd make a model, and then we'd name that model, capital K, kebab, and then you'd press enter, and it would make that model file for you. Now, we can add on a couple of flags to tell Laravel to make a migration and a controller for the kebab model too. So I could say hyphen, and then say MC, that's migration and controller. Then press enter, and it's gonna create all of those three files for us. So if I now just close this off and then come over here, you can see inside app, we have the kebab model over here. If I close app and go down to database, we can see in the migrations, we should have a new migration as well, create kebabs table, and it's scaffolded all of this for us as well. And then finally, if I go back up to app and then HTTP controllers, we can see now the kebab controller. So it's created all of those three things in one go, which just saves us a bit of time. So that was one final tip, my parting bit of advice for you, which will hopefully speed up the development process for you a little bit.